Hello, my fellow homemakers, and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I know a lot of you request that I actually do voiceovers, so this one's for you. I'm out running errands today. Sometimes I have my groceries delivered, sometimes I get them myself. On this day, it's about 105 degrees outside. The world is so harsh right now outside. I always look forward to the refuge of coming back home. Even with little things like putting the groceries away, I can find this to be a relaxing ritual. Our plum tree produced a lot of plums this year, but right now our garden is pretty low on fruit, so I've stocked up at the grocery store. Everything you see here I've just washed in the sink, and so now I'm just putting it away. There's nothing quite like having an abundant array of fruit to choose from in the kitchen. All right, tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making chicken enchiladas. And I'll tell you how I did it. The filling here is with chicken breasts, and I used about two large chicken breasts. I cooked them in the slow cooker throughout the day, and then I shredded them in my KitchenAid mixer. So I just combined the shredded chicken breasts with some enchilada sauce and some sliced olives. You could also put chopped spinach and other hidden vegetables in here if you like. Then my favorite way to do it is to use the raw tortillas and I actually cook them. So you can see some of them are scorched because I cooked them on the stove and that's okay. These tortillas are just so nice. They add so much flavor to your enchiladas and you can find them at most grocery stores. Then I line the bottom of the casserole dish with some enchilada sauce, and I place my rolled up enchiladas inside. the top with shredded Monterey Jack cheese and then I pour on a lot more enchilada sauce. I like our enchiladas to be saucy rather than dry so I put on a lot of sauce but you can just put on the amount that you like to use. While those bake in the oven I'm going to be making a fresh guacamole. Now whenever I watch my homemaking videos I'm appalled at my knife skills, so please don't ever emulate what I do with a knife because <laughs> I'm sitting on edge just like you are. Okay, now I'm scooping the flesh of these gorgeous avocados into a bowl. I'm taking these tomatoes from the garden and I'm just going to chop them up into a small dice. Now I'm taking these onions from the garden and I'm chopping these up as well. So if you don't grow onions in your area, I highly recommend that you do. They're pretty easy to grow and they grow all year long and it's so wonderful to just walk into the backyard and pick an onion when you need one. These onions are really fresh and funny enough, they don't tend to make me cry, so I prefer using these. Now I'm just going to take the juice from one lemon and squeeze it into the guacamole. A 
a bit of salt and pepper. And then we're going to mash this all together. After I sprinkle some cumin seeds. <laughs> This is what it looks like on the plate. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but I guarantee it tastes absolutely delicious. Now, I actually made some Spanish rice and I forgot to plate it up. So I discovered it on the stove a few hours later. Have you ever done that before? No worries, I'm going to plate it up with the leftovers because there's lots of leftovers with this dish, but I just wanted to mention that. Alright, so the next day we are having leftovers and I've just made a chunky garden salad with lots of goodies inside of it. Here is the Spanish rice that I made yesterday uh, but forgot to plate up. And these are the enchiladas. I know they look really gross but I guarantee you they're even better the second day. Alright, let's go back in time now. Do you remember a few months ago when I started my potatoes in the bag? Here I am planting the beginning of my potatoes. I planted these heirloom French fingerling potatoes and you know, I thought that they were going pretty well. I checked them a few months later and this is what we came out with. Okay, not that much, but I'm still quite proud of them. Well, you're not gonna believe what happened. I'm at the, it's at the end of a long day and the potatoes, <laughs> the potatoes, I've spent months growing the potatoes and I just wash them in the washing machine. <laughs> I can't, <laughs> they were in the washing machine. Oh my gosh, I need to find more. There's one. Oh, you guys. They've never been so clean. <laughs> Are there any more? I spent months washing these potatoes and they're in here. I'm so, I can't believe this. I wrapped them up in a napkin and, and then I washed them. Up. <laughs> I'm breaking the fourth wall by talking to you in my homemaker videos, which I don't really do. But here I am because I have spent the last three months <laughs> growing these potatoes. And I checked the fingerlings the other day and they weren't ready. And then a few days later, I just had my daughter kind of dig up for them and I found some. They still weren't ready, they weren't big enough, but I was still kind of proud of the little fingerling potatoes. So I wrapped them up in a cloth napkin <laughs> and I must have put the cloth napkin into the, the rag bin, the bin that I washed the, I can't even think, I'm at the end of the, long, the longest day ever, into the bag into the, the bin where I washed the rags, the dirty rags. And then when I looked in today, I saw my potatoes. <laughs> my potatoes. <laughs> they have never been cleaner. Okay, I don't know. These things happen to homemakers. I mean, we're tired. That's the thing, we're tired. And I was just gathering all the cloth napkins. Anyway, I still have the one bag left that I haven't ruined yet. So I'm gonna hopefully get potatoes out of that. But I just, I don't know. I'm so tired. I didn't even film today homemaking stuff. I, I did other stuff, but. Hi, sweetie. Um, we cleaned the house for about two hours after dinner. Everybody, <laughs> me, Ben, the kids. And I'm so tired and it's bedtime now and I just washed the potatoes. On that note, let's carry on with the film. <laughs> when it all becomes too much, I go outside to change the scene. This technique works for my toddler. Hint, it also works for me. My worries tend to melt away under the brim of my large sun hat. The vines, vegetables, fruits, and I enjoy a quiet chat. 
How inviting it is to linger here. I'm tempted to just pitch a tent. Let them fend for themselves inside. They'd all wonder where I went. But instead, I'll capture this time to gather my herbs and flowers, my secret garden escape, the fruit of those springtide showers. Oh, my fellow homemakers, I hope that you enjoy these videos. I hope that they accompany you throughout your day and that they encourage you in all the tasks that you have to do. Homemaking is a beautiful thing. Some days are better than others. Some days you wash your potatoes in the washing machine. <laughs> but truly, there can be beauty found in the mundane. And I hope that is what you find today. Thank you for joining me here on The Daily Connoisseur. I hope that you subscribe, like this video, and share it with a fellow homemaker. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.